right now. And coming up, getting the roads ready for tonight's expected freeze and a very, very cold commute for tomorrow morning. Plus... I'm Fabiana Favela in downtown El Paso, and as we await the first freeze of the season, one center is helping those who don't have a place to stay tonight. I'll show you how they're providing room for everyone seeking away from the cold. Another court rules against the Trump administration's decision to end DACA. The president says that's a good thing. I'm Alexandra Limon in Washington, and I'll explain. From the station putting local first, this is KTSM 9 News at 6. Well, you might have thought to yourself today, yeah, it's colder, but the sun is out. It's not too bad. We'll just wait. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Money. And I'm Natasha Paloma. We're anticipating the first freeze of the season tonight. Temperatures ready to plunge into the 20s for the very first time since last winter. Let's start off with uh, your local weather authority, meteorologist Robert Bettis. The winds have been very cold and gusty, but slowly in the night, those winds will start to die down. Right now, still, we're gusting to 24 miles per hour at the airport, and we'll see winds taper off. We'll also see the skies clear up. Once the winds die down and the skies clear, that's what's going to leave us with that extremely cold night tonight. Low temperature, 23 at the International Airport. Tomorrow, sunny and 45. I'll have your full forecast coming up. All right, Robert, thank you very much. And TxDOT is prepping the roads ahead of this freeze. We got some video of the crews working along the highway today. The trucks got started this morning pre-treating Trans Mountain Road, the Spaghetti Bowl, Spur 601, and some of the overpasses. Now, this afternoon, they were going to hit the border highway and the east side, including Loop 375. Um, they're out there uh, spreading brine on the roads. Brine is a salt and water solution. People will see that the roads are pre-treated because they'll see like white streaks. And TxDOT wants to remind you that if you see its crews on the road, just give them a safe distance so you don't get sprayed with that brine solution. And if you do get some of that on your vehicle, you're going to want to wash it off as soon as you can with plain water. And during these cold temperatures, we may be tempted to run out to our car, turn on the heater, and leave it running. But did you know it's illegal? The El Paso Police Department Auto Theft Task Force wants to let you know you could receive a citation for doing this. The task force says it also leaves you vulnerable to car thieves. This does not apply to vehicles that have remote startup systems and the key fob is with the owner. And we have some tips and reminders to keep you and your home warm and protected. First up, winterizing your windows. The experts over at El Paso Building Materials say it's as easy as sealing the cracks and gaps with some caulking from the outside of your house or buying a sealant to apply from the inside. They say a little bit of maintenance comes a long way uh, when it comes to windows and doors. Um, it's very important to always check um, around your windows, around your house, on your doors, on the bottom, make sure that the weather stripping is correct so that way you get less air. So we're checking them every six months or every three months, making sure they're okay. El Paso Building Materials says an easy way to stay on top of maintenance is to just give a quick check of your home every time the seasons change. Hey, I've also got some reminders on how to protect your pipes tonight. The last thing you want is a busted pipe, a watery mess, and a hefty bill. Now, you've heard about leaving the faucet dripping. Well, the experts at Gray Heating and Air Conditioning say that is good advice. You just want to make sure the dripping water is cold water. This is an extra tip. If you have any uh, spigots on the outside exposed, get some uh, spigot covers and make sure everything is it's covered. And you're also going to want to keep those cabinets open inside so the pipes stay at room temperature. And protecting your pipes is part of the four P's we talk about whenever the temperature plunge happens like we're expecting this night. And you're going to want to protect your pipes, plants, pets, and of course, people. And by people, of course, we mean those most vulnerable to the cold, like the elderly and our homeless population. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela live at a local shelter ready to warm those who have nowhere else to go. 
Opportunity Center for the Homeless here in downtown El Paso, where you can see behind me, many people here were already fed their hot meals and are preparing for tonight's freezing temperatures. Now, according to the Deputy Director of the Opportunity Center, it's expecting more people to come seeking shelter tonight. He tells me last winter, the shelter housed 184 men, but last night alone, the center accommodated 94 men and 54 women. This is a no-barrier shelter, meaning that any and everyone is welcome. The center aims to make sure it provides